my English reader and the name of the poem is A Watering Rhyme. Um, all of us love nature, right children? We love the beautiful trees, the beautiful plants, the beautiful flowers that we find all around us, right? And as you know, uh, just imagine you're feeling a little sad, a little dull. When you take a walk in a park or in a garden, when you see all these beautiful plants with beautiful flowers like roses, um, what else, marigold, there are many flowers, right? And when you see these beautiful lush green trees, you feel positivity, right? You feel positive energy. So that is the um, strength of nature because nature has a capacity to make us, to sort of, you know, build up our spirits. It gives us a lot of positivity, right? That is why we keep saying that if we plant more trees and beautiful plants, it will help us in every way. Not only to keep up our spirits, but also for us to survive, right? And now there are certain ways in how we take care of our plants, right? All of us will be having um, plants at home. Most of us will be having beautiful gardens at home. And there are certain methods how we take care of these beautiful plants. Like for example, they need, they require sunlight for growth, as you all know. And also they require the correct amount of water. Not too much and not too less. And also you need to give proper manure for them to grow well. Right? Just like for us we require water, without water we cannot survive. Right children? Same way even plants also require water for their growth. They require proper sunlight. And also the certain times in which we take care of them certain times in which we water the plants, all those are also very important. So now let us see what our poet is trying to tell us. Okay, and the poet, the name of the poet is P.A. Ropes. And he has written a beautiful poem, let us see, let us read together. Turn to page 114, a watering rhyme. Let's read together, children. Early in the morning or the evening hours are the times to water every kind of flower. Watering at noonday, when the sun is high, doesn't help the flowers, only makes them die. Also when you water, water at the roots. Flowers keep their mouths where we should wear our boots. Soak the earth around them, then through all the heat, the flowers will have water for their thirsty feet. Right? So now the poet is giving us certain instructions on how to take care of the plants that we have at home. And the poet is telling us, early in the morning or the evening hours are the times to water every kind of flower. So irrespective of what type of plant or flower, we have to water them during the early hours, early morning hours, or during the evening time. <coughs> right, children? And watering at noonday, when the sun is high, doesn't help the flowers, only makes them die. So during noon day, that is during the middle of the day, if we water them, it wouldn't do much good for them, right? And it is said here, only makes them die. So it is not good for the plant if we water them during the middle of the day or during the noon time, right? And also the amount of water, as I told you earlier, we should not uh, uh, give them too much of water, right? There is a limited amount and we are supposed to sprinkle the water around them and provide them only just enough water which will be useful for them, which will be taken up by their roots and it would help them to grow. And it is said again over here, see in the next answer, also when you water, water at the roots. The first you should water them at the roots. Flowers keep their mouths where we should wear our boots. Soak the earth around them, then through all the heat, the flowers will have water for their thirsty feet. So when we water them, we are supposed to water them right at their roots because over there, there's too much of heat. Okay, there's too much of heat there at the roots and when you water them at the roots, they absorb all the water that is required by them. Not too much, but not too less. And the apt amount of water should be given and when we water them, at the roots, the roots will absorb all the water 
required by the plant and it would help them it would help them to grow and give beautiful flowers right so i know all of you um will be uh, familiar with this you must be helping your parents to take care of your beautiful garden or your beautiful plants that you have at home and it is a very nice method in which we can interact with nature because if we give a little love and care nature gives back so much right so i hope you understood this poem now let us just quickly look into the summary of the poem okay now the poet is telling us that the early morning hours or the evening hours are the best times to water every kind of flower and also watering at noon day when the sun is high that is middle of the day right children it doesn't help the flowers it only makes them die and also when you water your plants you have to water at the roots right you have to water the roots first provide them enough water so that they can absorb it and later on you can sprinkle water on your plant but not remember not too much and not too less okay once again we can read a poem early in the morning or the evening hours are the times to water every kind of flower watering at noon day when the sun is high doesn't help the flowers only makes them die also when you water water at the roots flowers keep their mouths where we should wear our boots soak the earth around them then through all the heat the flowers will have water for their thirsty feet okay children and now there are few new words given here let us see you might be fam familiar with these words but let us see hour 60 minutes 60 minutes make up an hour watering making something wet yeah you water the plant that is you make the plant wet noon day is the middle of the day then boots all of us know what boots are it's a footwear that covers our feet and the uh, upper part of our legs basically people who live in colder regions they wear boots as footwear then soak again means to make something wet and heat as you know is high temperature you heat something to a high temperature right so these are the new words that are given here for us to learn and children i hope you understood this beautiful poem about nature about plants and how to water them i hope you would read it and understand and try and recite the poem Okay, children. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.